So, well, officially, hello and welcome to uh, Lansing eBranding Masterclass live tutorial. Um, our focus today fully lies on home and interior applications. So, Lansing fibers inside home textile segment. Who will guide you through today's session? So, uh, I am very happy that we could win one of our home and interiors um, uh, experts. This is Beate Zauner, Business Development Manager, Home and Interior Europe, and I will hand over to her in a second. Um, and she will guide you through the first part uh, of the uh, live session today. And my name is Angelika, Angelika Dutz. I'm Head of Global Licensing, and I will take over the second part uh, of the, the live training all around e-branding service. So what is in for you today? Um, we will start, as I said, um, already mentioned, uh, with our today's special, all about Tencel Home, with our guest speaker, Beate. And then uh, we will step right into the e-branding service, and here is specifically for home and interiors uh, applications. So what are the benefits of e-branding service? How to register? Then we will have a look into the Lansing certification standards, and the certification process, followed by licensing process, including artwork approval. And then we will also uh, have a more detailed look on the proper usage of Lansing trademarks in your materials. And if time allows, uh, we can also step right or live into the eBranding service platform, and I will show you some tips and tricks. We have also reserved uh, sufficient time for your questions. So please uh, feel free to, during the presentations, to ask your questions already in the chat. And then after uh, the, the slides, the presentations, you can also raise your voice and ask the questions um, live, let's say. And afterwards, after the, the webinar, you will receive the presentation slides uh, by email. So then let's start with the first part uh, of our live webinar today, all about Tencel Home, and over to you, Beate. Thank you, Angelica, for the introduction and the opportunity to be here to talk to you, um, to talk to you about home uh, textiles and interior made with Tencel fibers. Um, I will. I prepared a few charts just to give you an overview of what is possible with our fibers. I will not dive deep. I just give you really an overview just in case you're interested, like, OK, I'm happy with my bed linen, happy with my towel. What else can I do with that with these fibers? And so I show you some uh, sub segments we have for these uh, for these fiber types. So Angelica, please next slide. Um, I mean, the, the focus on home textiles with tensel is on bed linen and on mattress because this is it's very much used for that one. And this is how we don't want to wake up. Everyone knows, OK, I don't want to wake up. I don't want to sweat. And how we can achieve that or how we do want to wake up is next slide, please. It's exactly this. Yes, that's totally something completely different. It even feels so right and it's exactly feels so right. And Therefore, I say, OK, how can we achieve that to wake up dry, uh, dry and uh, in a, com a comfortable sleep and in a dry environment? And we can achieve that with the next slide, please, Angelica. We can achieve that with our tensile fibers, may it be the lyocell fiber or the modal fiber, both are uh, a bit different from specification and for the uh, application, but they both uh, work perfectly for the home and interior uh, segments. So you can see here uh, a comforter, you can see a pillow, you can see bed linen. Okay, this is, you can use our tensile fiber, you might not know that, also for the fillings. You can blend it with polyester. The, our fiber would take over the moisture management, which polyester cannot do. But a polyester gives our fiber the stability for the uh, backspring of the pillow or of the duvet. You can also use it in 100% for summer duvets and also in the shell fabric because it's, it has such a nice sheen and the moisture management is also working very well in that. Uh, for bed linen with this 
probably the most application for our tensile iocell fiber. It's uh, the same properties. It has the moisture management. It has the sheen. It has the soft and silky touch. It's it has the strength you need. It has a really a strong wet strength. Um, yeah. And next slide, please, Angelica. So that leads us to the mattresses. You can use the tensile acyl fiber also for mattresses uh, in blends with synthetic fibers, but also natural fibers. And it's already used a lot in the Dach market. So uh, most probably if you are buy a mattress in the Dach market, it's most probably tensile fiber involved, you, involved you're sleeping on. And it absolutely makes sense because the moisture management also here works perfectly. Uh, next slide, please, Angelica. And then it, that leads us to the terry towels. And for the terries, it's not only the lyocell, you can also use the modal fiber, which has a really very soft touch, which it has also a strength you can use for your terries. It's a soft hand feel and it's a long lasting soft hand feel. So after several washes, it's still very soft, very nice. You don't need softener, you don't need uh, to put anything on it compared to 100% cotton. We did a lot of tests. It's really a way softer and your customers or consumers may be very satisfied with that. Also a very good benefit for that is the color retention. Once you dye it, the color stays in there. That's also, we made some tests. It's a way better than with 100% cotton. So our recommendation, if you want to improve your towel, blend it with modal, tensile modal fibers, and I think your customers will be happy. Next slide, please. Now, and this is something brand new. Um, the, a, a colleague of mine, and we're really, really good friend, she developed that with a lot of partners uh, around Europe and Turkey. We are now in the curtain segment as well. So you can blend the tensile lyocell fiber with synthetics or natural fibers like wool and uh, cotton. And the, the benefit is that the wrinkles you have, if you blend it with a linen uh, curtain, you want, of course, some wrinkles, but it's a way softer and it's anti-static and the touch and the, the look is totally different. It's really, really very nice. So if you're interested in that, also possibility to blend our fibers now with curtains. Uh, Angelica, please. <laughs> So, and that leads me to the next slide, which says rugs, upholstery and curtains. Also brand new is upholstery. You can use our tensile fibers for up upholstery uh, fabrics. If you think about, okay, making, uh, I don't know, upholstery fabric, fabric biodegradable, you can use our fibers blended with natural fibers, all biodegradable and compostable. Of course, depends on the fabric. Uh, construction on the fabric, how long, but it will work. And for rugs, you can also use the tensile lyocell fiber because, I mean, instead of viscose, for instance, because lyocell is the more sustainable option in that case. And it's also anti-static and, and that's also very interesting and helpful for the upholstery uh, fabrics. So this was an overview what you can do with our fibers, where you can use it, how you can enhance your products or existing products or make it greener. And as an overview, I, I just prepared, OK, what you can do, you can blend tensile with cotton. You can make all the bed linen, you can make the towels and the baby sleeping bags. You can also blend it with synthetics fibers for the other applications. You can uh, you can try if you say, OK, I want to try something completely new. Just contact us. If it's interesting, we will support you as good as possible. If you are interested in supplier for the different segments, also get in touch with me and uh, we will help to find the right partner for you. I mean, Lensing is more than 80 years existing uh, and we have a lot of partners in the global world and we are very well connected and always open for new ideas. If you say, I, I want to try a product like this and then contact us and let's see if we can help and support you. So, and that leads me to the last slide where I can say thank you for choosing Tencel. Thank you for being in that call. Thank you for giving me the opportunity uh, to meet you here and thank you for listening. And whatever, whatever question comes up to you, you have my contact details here. Um, you can contact me and we can get in touch and let's see what I can do for you.
thank you everyone and now i give over to uh, hand over to and uh, angelica because that's why you are here you are here to learn e-branding and you are here to he you're here to learn more about the transparency it gives to you thank you yeah thank you beate uh, quite interesting um are there any questions already um raised in the chat or any specific question on home business so at the moment if, there's no question in the no chat question. so far um, okay but you can raise it anytime or yeah, yeah. unmute yourself Thank okay you. then i would like to continue with Lansing e-branding service. Uh, and yes, as Beate mentioned, um, it's the e-branding masterclass, so, but everything's connected. So we depend on business and uh, well, then it leads to e-branding service. So I would like to give you an, an overview, an introduction to what Lansing e-branding service is all about. Um, Lansing e-branding service is, uh, well, our first digital platform for all our customers across the value chain to foster traceability. Um, how is this done? So, well, it's all about traceability, transparency, very important things um, these times. And it's, well, it comes maybe in two phases, let's say. First of all, we focus on lensing certification, and this is all about fiber identification. Um, we identify check and identify fibers, lensing fibers inside fabrics, inside products. Um, and this is the vital part, let's say, of the lensing certification process. And then leading to lensing licensing process, which is, yeah, let's say the legal permission uh, for you, for our customers to have access to our product brands and brand assets like the logos, the brand names, the icons, the images and so on for labeling purposes, packaging purposes and any further co-branding um, activities and marketing campaigns that you would like to do. So it's the access point and also the, the starting point for any further activities that you would like to do and where you would like to use um, our brands and brand assets in your communication towards your customers and towards the end consumers. This is what the portal looks like and here you also already see um, the link leading to the landing page. What are the benefits of Lensing e-branding service? Well, first of all, it's all about, and this I mentioned already, it's about transparency, also sustainability and trust. Um, E-branding service provides value chain transparency through this fabric certification, or product certification, where we identify lensing fibers inside the products. And this allows you to enhance your sustainability story towards the end consumer. And finally, at the end of the day, allowing end consumers to make conscious purchasing decisions. Another benefit is, well, it's uh, an easy and user-friendly branding system. So it's an online system uh, with yeah, several advantages, some help functions. And of course, we also, well, we highly appreciate your feedback. So our users feedback to continuously improve and upgrade the platform based on your needs. And uh, well, also uh, quite important for you, uh, Lensing Branding Services, both certification and licensing are free of charge Lensing Services. Another benefit is increased brand awareness. And this I also already mentioned, so e-branding service is the access point to our logos and other brand assets, um, and also the starting point for further co-branding activities and marketing campaigns. And finally, it's all about compliance. And this is also um, a part of the, of the training today uh, to help you or to guide you in the correct brand usage, to use our trademarks in a proper and compliant way. 
And this is very important, uh, well, not only for us, but uh, I assume also for you, trademark protection is always a very important topic. And we at Lansing, we also take this very seriously. So let's move on. How can you start the branding journey? So it all starts with the registration at our platform. You have several options. You register here or there. And once you are registered, you log into your account by clicking on this green button. Um, we offer two registration options. So one is the single user account and the other one is the multi-user account. So the single user account uh, can be set up quickly and quite easily, one user only. Um, the multi-user account is a little bit more complex, but also offers some advantages. So one or more administrators can manage the account, can add further users, uh, can set up, uh, I don't know, uh, yeah, delete users or edit the account. And some or more users can be added to this multi-user account. And the advantage here is that these users well, can be within your organization, but you could even uh, add your suppliers. So somebody from external to your account and giving them the permission to do the work on your behalf. So to apply for the license or to order the swing tickets on your behalf. So this is the, the big benefit of the multi-user account to somehow being able to outsource the work, the daily work. So if we move on here in this table, you can see an overview um, who in the supply chain chain can apply for what on our e-branding service. So which modules are open for whom? Um, and if we start with the certification part, uh, which is here in the first line, and please remember Lensing certification here, it's all about fiber identification, verification, and then certification. And this is done by textile producers. So they are let's say, the only ones uh, being able to apply uh, for lensing certification. It can be on fabric level, but in the home textile segment, of course, also for other products like filling and so on. And then we have our licensing modules, and here we have three. And I will come to this more in detail um, in a minute. So we have product licenses, marketing license, licenses, and also swing tickets and stickers. So this means our lensing ready-made uh, marketing materials. Uh, and these uh, can be ordered by brand owners and retailers. And in addition, by product manufacturers on behalf of brand owners and retailers. And this is what I uh, just spoke about. This comes with this so-called multi-user account. Well, if we move on, uh, I would like to start with the lensing certification process. So how to start the lensing certification and application. Uh, when you log into your account, the first page that you will see is always the new application. So here uh, on the left hand side, new application and you would go to home and interior segment and click on the green button uh, to start the lensing certification application. And on the right hand side, you see the next page then where you can then really start the application process. You can also have a detailed look into the lensing certification standards and we will do so uh, in a second. And of course, you can all have also access to our certification terms. So the, the legal, let's say, legal requirements. And this leads me to the Lensing Certification Standards. Uh, and here we have, we do have some basic rules and also some very specific requirements uh, for the uh, home and interior segment. So let's start with some basic rules. And the 
the, the first one is, well, we do not allow um, other regenerated cellulose fibers made by other fiber producers than, other than lensing. Uh, we do not allow these fibers inside the fabric or the product. One other basic uh, rule is the 30% rule. So products must generally contain a minimum of 30% of one fiber of lensing origin. Unless explicitly specified differently, as it's mentioned below, and I highlighted some of them uh, in uh, yellow, because this is um, specifically for the home and interiors um, segment or applications. So the first um, exception is for pile fabrics, so for towels, pile fabrics must contain a minimum of 30% of one fiber of lensing origin in the pile. So this is the exception here. We do have another uh, rule for knitted mattress ticking. So knitted mattress ticking must contain a minimum of 30% of one uh, fiber of lensing origin in the top fabric surface. And please also uh, always consider not to send in samples with our trademarks on for certification. So if you hand in, for example, a mattress ticking cover or something like this, please uh, do not hand in uh, products where already Tencel would be, I don't know, stitched in or something like that. So we will reject this and ask for neutral uh, samples. And as mentioned here on the right hand side, please always remember each component of your product needs to be certified. For example, well, the filling, but also the shell fabric. Um, and you also can find here in this uh, document some sampling requirements. So we ask for two meters of finished fabric or one piece uh, containing filling also with the dimensions uh, mentioned here, or in case you have a, a rug sample, then please hand in uh, yeah, this dimension. Um, I would like to continue with, with a very specific tool uh, called the Fiber Blending Quick Check Tool. And you can find this Fiber Blending Quick Check Tool very prominent already on the landing page of the e-branding service. So no need to register or to log into your account. You can um, make use of this tool even yeah, if you're not registered and not logged in. Uh, and what is the benefit or the aim of this tool? Well, it should help you um, to properly plan sustainable fabric developments with lensing fibers right from the start. So um, you can check possible fiber plans and material compositions for the most common textile applications in just three simple steps, which are mentioned here. So in the first step, you can select the fibers. Well, this can be, of course, lensing fibers, but also blending partners, so cotton, synthetic fibers, and so on. So this is the first step. You select the fibers that will be inside your product. As a second step, you define the fiber percentages of each of these fibers. And once done, you click on view results. So this is the third step. And you will immediately see, first of all, whether this fiber uh, material composition is then allowed for lensing certification because it has enough lensing fibers inside. And secondly, you will already see, so once the certification is permitted, you will also see uh, immediately the lensing fiber brand behind. So that, as you can see here in this example, the, the brand will then be Tencel. So you could then apply for a license to use Tencel uh, logo and other brand assets in your communication. So this is what the fiber blending quick check tool is all about. A very 
helpful tool, hopefully for you. Um, I move on to the well, lensing or back to the lensing certification process, and um, yeah, which information is requested in this certification application? So first of all, and this is the first column, we ask for some description information, allowing us to clearly identify your product sample. So we ask for construction, details, types, whether knit or woven, the finishing state, the fabric weight, composition, and so on. We also ask, uh, or yeah, it's all about traceability, um, allowing us to clearly trace the supply chain. So therefore we ask for the spinner name, and this is the full company name of the spinner, who purchases the fiber from Lensing directly. Also yarn type, yarn count. And finally, we also ask for performance or use, end use, um, to inform us about yeah, care label instructions and the end use. So this is also very helpful information for us in the certification process. And then we move on to the sample requirements and in the process. So when uh, somebody somebody applies for the lensing certification um, and after you have submitted the application, you will receive an email with some attachments. So the application summary as such and also the accompanying letter. And you will receive all the details. Where to send the sample? Um, you can print out this letter and send it then together with the sample and you will also see the exact address where you should hand in the sample together with the letter. And then after we receive, in, well, we receive the samples in one of our labs. We have several labs, um, not only here at the headquarter in Austria, but uh, all over the world. And then the certification teams will take over, have a look at your application, check the sample, and then um, let's say grant uh, or approve the certification and grant a so-called lensing certification letter, including the uh, important certification number. So this is the well, a rough overview, let's say, about the certification process. And now I would like to talk about the lensing licensing process uh, as the next step, let's say, because once we know or you know that really lensing fibers are inside the product, you can ask for permission to use our brand. And uh, in home textile segments, it's mainly about Tencel the Tencel brand in your communication towards either your customers or even the end consumers. So let's move on to licensing. Yeah, this I already mentioned, this is the official legal permission to use our brands and brand assets in your communication and this both on product level, but also on very general level, brand level. It is royalty free, so no license fees to be paid. And our license agreements are valid for a period of two years. And we have several licensing options, which I will show you now. Starting with um, a so-called product license. And the product license um, is needed. Uh, or is the right choice, let's say, whenever you would like to do a product specific communication. So on product level it can be a packaging uh, or a co-branded hang tag and so on. So whenever it's uh, about the specific product, please apply for a product license. And there you will need this certification number proving that lensing fibers are really inside. Here's some examples of product license um, applications. So whenever it's a, it is about labeling purposes, uh, you want to mention tencel here or also in the material composition, a packaging design, 
but also on your website, uh, on the material um, web pages, e-com shop, and so on. So this is uh, all about the product license. The second um, option is swing tickets and stickers. So these are our ready-made uh, hang tags. Here are some examples as well. So we offer various types of tensile hang tags. Either you want to highlight the technology or you want to highlight more the branded offers. So this is for you then the home. In the home segment, you um, have also the, the choice to select specific home and interiors um, hang tags and also our tiny little stickers. And all our hang tags um, are offered in several language versions and also transcription versions, but you will always be guided inside eBranding service to the, let's say, the, the right selection for you. So this will be predefined and pre-selected uh, for you based on the fiber type inside the product. You can also have product license and swing ticket combined in one application. And finally, we have the marketing license, and this is everything else than product related. So it's for your general company website or for a trade show or for a company brochure or yeah, for a newsletter, some general uh, postings on uh, social media channels and so on. So not product related, but other for other marketing purposes. The marketing license is um, the right choice. And this is, by the way, a very easy license uh, to be done in just five simple steps. You can do it within, well, maximum five minutes. Uh, you have the marketing license ready and then can use um, our trademarks for these purposes for two years. Um, I would now like to um, go more into detail what is artwork. And this is, well, it's part of the licensing process and that's why it's uh, very important. And artwork is everything, well, it, it's a design plan of the materials that you would like to do together or integrating our logo, for example. So either a packaging design, a co-branded hang tech design, design of your web page and so on. And this artwork has to be submitted before the materials, the assets are in commercial use. So Lensing licensing team would like to carefully check uh, your artworks during the licensing process. Uh, we check uh, the artwork, we help you in case not everything is, is uh, correct right from the beginning. We guide you um, and, and show you how to make it right. And then um, once everything is fine, you upload the artwork, the license will be granted. And you can start promoting your product or your uh, materials together with the Tencel brand. So we ask for artwork for product licenses and the marketing license, because yes, you will use want to use our trademark in your materials. So we will check uh, what you have planned to do. And well, we have integrated uh, recently the artwork approval into eBranding service process, because one of the benefits is that it allows you to yeah, have a quicker application submission because you can um, e reuse already approved artwork for several licenses. So once we have you have we have it done properly, you have it stored in your archive, uh, you can reuse for several licenses and uh, this is can be done quite easily. Um, so this is one advantage. Another advantage is that um, it is also now possible to have in-system communication tracking. We still can exchange, uh, let's say, the um, uh, yeah, communication uh, about the artwork by email. 
but it can also be done in the system, which allows you and also us to have everything stored in one place, which I think is quite a, uh, a big advantage. So here a quick overview how to get the license with all the uh, individual steps and to show you where the artwork approval now comes in. So it, whenever Lensing checks your license application, we also check the artwork and if everything is fine, uh, the license will be granted and you can go on. This brings me to timelines and validities. So for the registration um, process, well, it may take us two to four working days uh, to carefully check your registration. Normally we, we are much quicker than that. For certification, please consider uh, approximately 14 working days after receipt of the fabric sample uh, and the fully completed application form. And for licensing, it also takes us approximately 14 working days. Uh, and once again, please consider kindly also um, provide artworks. And if we have artwork and the license in hand, we will be much quicker than 14 working days to apply and to, or to um, grant your license. When it comes to validities, you can see here in this overview that most of, let's say, the certifications and licenses are valid for two years. Some of them, and this is specifically in the home and interiors segment uh, for certification part, are even valid for five years. And yeah, you will receive an automated notification email one month prior to expiry date so that you do not forget to maybe renew your license or the certification in time. So we come to support options, so where to go when you need help. And this is to show you our global branding service team. So we have uh, dedicated um, team members all over the world, uh, starting well in Lansing headquarter in Austria, but also we have um, colleagues uh, in the US, uh, in Brazil, uh, in Turkey, also in the Asian world, of course, Korea, Hong Kong, China, India, Indonesia, and also in the Czech Republic. And here on the left hand side, you see all the email addresses, um, both in certification, um, for certification questions, but also licensing and even registration. So please feel free to reach out to um, the colleagues nearest to you. And here's some useful information, um, the link leading to the landing page, um, the fiber blending quick check tool, uh, this I uh, already mentioned, and uh, we also have an e-branding help desk team um, who are, well, ready to support you uh, and you just need to click on the need help button you will find this need help button on each and every page on ebranding service and then feel free to reach out to our colleagues and they will um, be here for you to support you um, yeah let us shortly recap um, the most important uh, points about ebranding service so it is an Easy, easily accessible 24 seven digital customer platform um, offering value chain transparency, traceability, and also supporting you in sustainability messaging. We have the certification process to check and approve lensing fibers inside the fabrics the products and the licensing process to grant you access to our brands and brand assets. All these services are free of charge for you. And we have dedicated regional and even local user support um, yeah, in place for you to support you, to help you, to uh, answer your questions. And based on your valuable feedback, we continuously develop and improve, upgrade the customer platform. 
to jointly create value and trust. And finally, um, so these are my last slides, I would like to step a little bit deeper into the proper usage of Lansing trademarks. So, and we'll show you some very simple steps to get it right. It's all about brain, brand and claim usage, some do's and don'ts. So do's here on the left hand side, some don'ts uh, on the right hand side. And now we will go into a little bit more detail. First of all, maybe to cover also why it is important to use uh, lensing trademarks in a proper and compliant way. Well, our brands, and here we have Tencel, but also Lensing, Ecovero, Refibra, and so on, are legally protected trademarks owned by Lensing. So only we, and of course our authorized licensees, may use them. And I already mentioned this, we take uh, trademark protection very seriously uh, here in Lensing, but I am sure you do the same for your brands in your businesses. And Lansing product brands, so Tencel is an ingredient brand. It's not the brand of your product. It's the brand for the raw material enhancing your product. Um, and with the license in place, of course, you we allow you to use um, our brands and also the benefits uh, in your communication and to show consumers how also your products are sustainable, for example. And unauthorized usage may put you and yeah, your brand at legal risk. And we have this very comprehensive verification uh, certification system in place um, to have everything in order, let's say. And of course, whenever uh, we detect unauthorized usage, um, we will uh, take some action. And yeah, we have to take action to protect our trademarks. Yeah, here's some really simple steps to get it right. Um, and everything is very well mentioned in our branding guidelines basics. This is a really a quick reference to proper logo and trademark usage. You can access these um, branding guidelines via our e-branding service platform, via the FAQ and download section. And here then the branding guidelines basics uh, are open and you can download them. And we have them in several languages and also transcriptions. But you can also scan this QR code leading directly to the branding guidelines basics. And when, when it comes then to the claim usage or yeah more deep deep, deep uh, deeper details into brand architecture, we also have the a, a full version of Lansing branding guidelines or uh, uh, yeah a thicker book. Let's say uh, we call it always our uh, trademark bible. Um, and you can of course also find this on the e-branding service landing page uh, in or in the FAQ and download section, and you can. Uh, download the guidelines uh, from there and available yeah, in several languages uh, already. And here some uh, examples. So this is our the Tencel logo with all the elements to be used uh, also by you. Minimum logo size, uh, yeah, some clear space around. Then in some uh, color variations. So what is not allowed, some don'ts. So please don't change the font, for example, or yeah, the colors. The trademark, uh, the wordmark, uh, also always in capital letters. So Tencel, all in capital letters, followed by TM. And here, uh, a specific application example for you. So this would be an e-commerce website. Uh, where you have, for example, a bedding set uh, containing tensile fibers. So it is would not be correct if you say tensile bedding set. Uh, why not? Because as I mentioned, 
tencel is the trademark not for the bedding set, but for the ingredient for the fibers inside the bedding set. set. So you have to um, phrase it a little bit differently. So bedding set containing tensile fibers. So this product contains tensile lyosol fibers. Please also always mention our trademark sentence. And the correct material description. Um, here in this uh, example, it's 100% uh, tensile lyocell. So the generic fiber name lyocell is a must. And you can add the tensile brand name uh, once a product license is in place. Summary of the most common mistakes. So here incorrect usage by omitting the trademark symbol. So this is the correct. Please always mention TM after Tencel. Incorrect usage. It's not all in capital letters. So this is the correct brand usage. Incorrect usage by using the trademark as the description of the end product, Tencel pillow. No, it's not the tensile pillow, it's a pillow containing tensile fibers. And also not uh, incorrect usage uh, by using the trademark as a description for other generic materials like cotton. And it would be correct to, to write it in this way, cotton and tensile lyocell or cotton and tensile modal. And yeah. This we mentioned already. Please send all the artworks to Lensing Licensing Team for check and approval and for uh, granting also the license. Yeah, well, that's the second was the second part uh, of um, the webinar focusing on e-branding service, general introduction, and also a look into certification licensing process and proper trademark usage and uh, well question to Katrin maybe are there questions in the chat uh, there are no questions but Beata is raising her hand so yeah please Beata. Uh, and there is <laughs> also in. another one so <laughs> yeah sorry but a, a question appeared to me like when you said the trademark sentence sentence like okay the trademark uh, is um, owned by Lensing it does not have to Stick to the tensile lyocell description. It can be somewhere on the page, it right? It can be some. Yes, correct. Okay, good. Yeah, good. That, yeah. that was, was my question because example. I know some brands, like uh, the brands, only have online shops. They really have a big focus on the layout of their sites. Yes. So that might disturb somewhere in the middle where uh, actually. No, no. Okay, good. It can be anywhere. It can be anywhere, at least. If it is on, <laughs> we yeah, are happy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it can be in very small font uh, size, of course, and yes, yeah. of course. So here we are flexible, and that is yeah. also why we carefully check the artwork and and also have some back and forth communication with our customers to guide them. And yeah. well, and we always try to find a solution. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's we, not carved. Have not be... everything is carved in stone. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, we are. Okay, we good. have to be picky on some of the. Yeah. Of let's course. say uh, yeah. trademark usages but for all the other elements uh, yeah we are really flexible and can also well it depends on also on the design as you said of customers yeah. so we are well aware yeah. and also space is a big topic yeah, uh, yeah. where we have mm -hmm. limited space on packaging mm -hmm. or on yeah. and customers we know that they are using many languages they have to mm, print yeah. or to show many languages so space is always an issue yeah. But for an e-com shop, uh, at least if it's on somewhere, the trademark sentence, then we are happy. Yeah, okay, fine, thanks. So I see that Lisa has a question. Yes, please go ahead. Yeah, uh, at, at first, I want to thank you. This has been really, really helpful and lightening this, this webinar. Thank you very much. And I know I have some, maybe uh, several questions, but maybe maybe I will write them later in email because uh, I have maybe concerning a little bit different different topics. But the, the one question is that uh, um, I have registered, uh, I'm registered into this, uh, to this system. But the question is like, is it difficult to change it into this multi-user? Because I believe no. that I have made this individual one. Yeah, no, no, you can upgrade <laughs> okay. to a multi-user account. Uh, and I can also then um, maybe later on 
uh, or somebody can do it maybe uh, already now in the chat. We have an, an FAQ section, but maybe let let me continue here and step right into the platform and I show you where you can find if it works. Hopefully it works. To step into the platform. Uh, here we are. Can you still still see my screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we have an uh, uh, FAQ section here. OK, and I think for for the, the oh yeah, this always happens. I don't know why always when it's live. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but there is an uh, FAQ uh, that that shows you or guides you how to do it. Uh, well, let me start again from scratch. So when you log in, oh, where's the FAQ? Here it is. And you can do this in the account management. You see here you have account management. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you can change, uh, let's say, change the details or upgrade to a multi-user account and I think for the well if I'm not mistaken for the upgrade to a multi-user account you use the download change request form so open the form uh, well Anna are you in the call you are in the call uh, is this the correct way to do it to up upgrade to a multi-user account or can this Done, be done even more easily. It, it's much easier. Ah, okay, um, Katrin, yeah, please step in. Okay, let me quickly log in. Uh, yeah. So I will share the screen. So uh, you're logging into your account. Um, so I'm now with our Lansing account. And then You click on the menu, scroll down to account management. And there is. Go there. There is this company information. It's inside the company information. OK, good. Uh, Catherine, if I may step in, uh, the the possibility to, to upgrade to a multi-user. So you cannot see it if you already have a multi-user ah. account. But if you have, if you still have a single-user account, then in the account management there will be a, a special tab for account upgrade. So um, in yeah, the single-user, right. you yeah, you would see it. Um, mm, okay, good. Yeah, that thanks, Veronica. No problem. Okay. That this is why our help desk is so important. They know everything. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Just here, account management, and then you see the link account upgrade. OK, OK. Yeah, okay. and then the, the colleague uh, in charge uh, will take over uh, and do everything, and then it's done. So it can be quickly done. And yes, you have several benefits with the multi-user account. Okay, thank you. Uh, well, I think I have uh, more questions, but maybe I will make a list and to to send it to. I will yeah, send sure. to Beate, I think, or who I will send the the questions. <laughs> you you can send it to me. I can forward it. Okay, to the, okay, yes, okay, help, okay. To the help desk or to Anna to yeah whoever. Okay, will look, okay. Look Thanks a it. lot. <laughs> okay, welcome. thank you. Okay, very good. So I also can see no further questions. Maybe I quickly reshare my screen. Oh, no, sorry. Where it is? Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. No. Oh, did I close them? Catherine, do you have the presentation by any chance still open? Um, no, but no. Because I, well, I don't know why, but I closed it and maybe it takes too long. And you maybe reshare or yeah. Yeah. And we quickly finish with um, 
very last slides. Giving some more information on yeah, further modules uh, and e-branding. So maybe you go to the slide with yeah, interested to find more. Yeah, here it is. And well, if you're interested in further uh, live webinars, please just um, go to our e-branding masterclass landing page. There you will find further information uh, about all the live webinars that we are offering. And currently you will, well, we have the January sessions in um, focusing on home textile segment. There will be uh, one session tomorrow in German language and another one on Thursday specifically for the Americas market um, later today, so of America's time zone and more to come soon. Of course, also in February uh, and all the subsequent months, we will offer live webinars, regular sessions, but also very specific topics. So please stay tuned. Have a look uh, at the web uh, page. Uh, you will always find the information on once available and you can register also for further live sessions. In addition to the live webinars, you also find um, the section about with all self-study videos. So we have on specific topics, uh, general e-branding service topics, branding guidelines, uh, licensing part, artwork part, and so on, prepared videos for you, short um, informative videos in several languages. So with subtitles in several languages to make it even uh, more easy for you to, to follow and understand the information. So this is uh, everything about the landing page with further information. And the very final slide, uh, we would also highly appreciate your feedback to this Masterclass live session. So kindly help us to improve um, Masterclass by um, yeah, doing a short survey. It's really a short one. Please scan this QR code and give us some feedback about e-branding masterclass. You can also, of course, always reach out to us uh, under this email, ebrandingmasterclass.lensing.com. And this brings me to the end uh, of today's webinar. Uh, and I would like to thank you very much um, for your attendance, for your interest. Thank you, Beate, for joining us today and giving some business insights. So it was really interesting. And yeah, thanks again. And I wish you a nice rest of the day and hopefully to see you soon.